Transformers. What is a transform? Uh, converter. Converter. Convert what to what? All right, it's used to change voltage in AC electricity. Doesn't work on DC because it works by magnets, right? And so you got two coils of wire that are next to each other, but they're not conducting to each other. They're insulation around them, right? So one coil is the primary, and as the AC goes one way, it makes the magnet swell up, and as the AC goes the other way, the magnet collapses and then turns the, your north and south poles swap, right? So when one set of coils is doing that, it drives the other set of coils like a generator. Uh, and the main purpose of transformers is to set voltage either up or down. And some people act like these gen there's a direction to these things. There's really not. So if our uh, main step up transformer, take when we are down, it takes in that 520 and changes to 23. Thousand, and then that moves out over here and that steps these down to 13, 8, 41, 60 all the time. And if you're if you're isolating something and you're on the, the side that's normally driving, you ain't safe unless you open up the supplies coming from the other side. Unless there's no way to get hold of it there. But if there is, it can push backwards through these things. Uh, a good analogy for a transformer, a good mechanical analogy, is a gearbox. So it's like the you're getting the same amount of power on either side of the transformer, except for like whatever heat losses you got, right? But you are trading, you're going up in voltage and down in current, just like you're going up in speed and down in torque. Did I get that right? And if somehow the gearbox is being driven from the other side, you'll get movement on the other side. It's just part of how it fucking works. All right. We got 13.8 loads. We kind of mentioned some 4160 loads, but let's get a better list. What's powered directly from the 4160? Mills, add my addition. Plant air compressor, APC compressors, atomizers, plant feed. Okay. There's going to be a whole other discussion of plant feeds. Also, condensate pumps. Condensate pumps. Somebody said river water pumps, and that is not right. ECB pumps. Yes. Which is crazy. The river waters are pouring, but the ECB pumps are 4160. Well, the. Yeah. You're right, that is kind of weird. Because you, you eyeball those pumps. And yeah, it's so many in the river waters. So on our plant site, we send this 4160 out to places and then transform it down to 480 when it gets there. And that's kind of the same principle. You're minimizing losses. So you got 4160 that goes all the way out to the river water pump house. And then on either side of that building, there's a transformer that takes it from switchgear one and switchgear two down to 18. 1828 MCCs out there? <laughs> getting, getting fucked up. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what Grandma wants on her one lot is where we have to learn where, which SUSs are where, which. All right. 
times this week at work. But if you learn the MCCs, you can learn the other skills. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. All right, so I guess that's where we're going next. As we go from that, hold on, one more thing I want to add here. Switch gear two has an alternate feed breaker. On the north end of the switch yard, there's a transformer and a big disconnect switch. You with me? No? The switch yard? No. North. Hang on. South end of the switch yard. Outside the gate. Oh, yeah, yeah, that big box. Yeah, there's a big box, oh. and then there's a smaller, taller box, and uh, those, the there's 480 going to the big box, and then that big box turns and steps up to 4160, and then there's a disconnect switch, and then that is going into the building to switch gear two, so that during outage, we can kill all this and work in the switch yard, and still have lights in the building, still have a compressor in the building. Can't really have a compressor in the building. It's not enough to feed the 13A. So you can't have surf water, so you can't have plain air. But you can have a compressor out back. You can run the Charlie compressor back there. All right. So we go from switch gear one. And then from switch gear one, we go to SUS 11. Hold on. Or transform 11. Is the SUS not a transform? SUS, which I guess I should have looked up what the fuck that stood for before I started this class. Uh, secondary unit substation? That's it. Huh? All right. Uh, so that is like another one of these switch gears. It is not actually, it is, the transformer is not included in it. So you got a breaker going to S. You got a transformer. And you got a main feed breaker, and then you got load breakers coming off of it. I think I said 480, but I'm going to go ahead and write it up here so it doesn't get forgotten. Every time I change colors, I'm changing voltage, but I don't have enough colors to do everything clean. All right, so coming off of transformer, 4160 switch gear one goes transformer 11, steps it down to 480, then you go to SUS 11, which then will feed MCC 111 and MCC 112. No, 121, MCC 121 exists, but it's coming off of transformer, or trans, uh, transformer 12. Should explain the code real quick. Yeah, this is the time, isn't it? Yes. So the first thing Jackie told me was to walk me around. <laughs> so switch gear one, transformer twelve, MCC one twenty one. So if you drop the numbers off the back. So this, this one at the front of MCC 121 is the same as the one in the switch gear one. Okay? okay. So then on the other side, you go to switch gear two and transformer 22 and MCC 211. If you look at an MCC and you want to know which SUS it has, power is like Jackie said, like it's 121. Cover up the far right number, you know 
of SUS 12. You know that powered by Delaware Connect number is powered by source three one. Yes. And there's smaller transformers that come off of this that goes through a panel APC uh, 1213, right? Oh. And so one, the panel 1213 is coming off of MCC 121, which is coming off of transformer 12 or SUS 12, which is coming off of source gear 1. Uh, there are some loads that are powered directly from the SUSs. Uh, in particular, the service water pumps and the wastewater pumps I know come directly off of the SUS. They're not coming off the MCC. Uh, They're bigger. They're, they're like, uh, like a, the fuel oil. I know it's a, it's kind of like a, it's a 480 down there. That's on issues. Not the fuel oil. Motor carrier. One of those, one of those motors. But she, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a 13 8 where you got to crank it out, but it's not as big as a 13 8. Okay, yes. So, transformer 13, I think I'm 14, 16, 17, 18, that might be it. All right, so 11 and 12 are in the turbine, 13 is in the boiler, and you got an MCC on the fourth floor, and then one up on the turbine deck on the 12th floor. So you got a 131 and a 132. And you got a 231 and a 232 on the south side. Then 14 goes to 141, 142, and 143 out of AQCS. 141 and 142 are right there. 143 is up in the penthouse. And then uh, I don't know why, but we're missing 15. I don't know where it is. Uh, 16 and 17 are out at the uh, coolant tower. And then 18 is a river water. So switch gear one feeds transformers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 16, 17, 18. Transformer 11 goes to MCC 111, 112. And there's something else that ties in on that one. Anybody know what that is? Stand by generator. Correct. Stand by diesel generator. One is 11 and 12 the first four. So there are, so there's four MCCs down there in the, the second floor of the switch. Uh, I guess by 11 and 12, we're asking about MCCs. Yes. Is that the MCC that the Breaks the generators on? Yes. Uh, it's a SUS that the breaks the generators on. It's on the ground floor. Yep. So oh, that's an SUS. Okay. Uh, I'm, no, I know what one we're doing. We're not sure what it is. Okay. All right. Now I'm caught up. All right. So coming off of. Switch gear two, going to transformer 21, SUS 21, MCC 211, and 212, and the booster fire pump. Oh. Order 
fossil fuel oil they use, main electric fire pump. Between SUS 11 and SUS 21, there's a tiebreaker. So all of these things have a feed breaker on the 41 to 60 side, and then you get to the SUS, and there's a main breaker that goes to the rest of them. Essential bus. And you'll hear essentials. So, what are the kind of things? Okay, so MCC 111 is in the turbine building, second ground floor. MCC 112 is in the boiler building on the feeder deck. And then 211 and 212, same thing. Uh, turbine building and feeder deck. So, what are the kind of things that come off of the essential bus? Lube oil pumps. Lube oil pumps. Main lube oil, steel oil, lube oil pumps for all five pulverizers, um, A and B lube oil pumps for each of your six fans. Uh, audible water pumps. Audible water pumps come directly off of this because that goes to eye wash stations and that is considered That's essential. Uh, same thing, we talked about little power panels. Little power panels come off these things too. And so uh, that's where you get to the elevators are considered essential. Not so much because we don't want you guys walking upstairs, but because we don't want you getting stuck in the elevator. Yeah, uh, Posh is auto pumps for Posh, and that's Posh is off um, on the 111 and 111. I would bet that they were off the 121 type bus. Oh, okay. That they are not essential, but they are turbine building. So, but I, I don't know. No, I think it is essential. All right. Um, rotor air heaters, those motors come off of the 122 and two, yeah, 122 and 222. One twelve and two twelve. Sorry. That might be it. That's definitely most of it. Yeah, it would be essential. Unless boiler essentials everything on the feeder deck, right? Correct. <coughs> so on a loss of power, we're running and all of a sudden this breaker comes open in the switchyard, we lose 500 kV coming in. That means there's nowhere to send our 700 megawatts, 675 megawatts. So our turbine knows that, so it trips that breaker, and now all this bus just went dead. When the system sees zero voltage here, it go ahead and it opens those breakers, and then it starts the diesel generator and syncs it up. And then it'll send a start pulse to all the lube oil pumps that are out the hard tower because they might have stopped. So they all get a start signal. And then if you remember how I was talking about transformers can go either way, this diesel generator could conceivably, I mean, all these disconnects open, but if they didn't open, then it could back feed and push voltage where you didn't want to. So when we're doing lockouts for the outage, when they're trying to lock out things so they can work on the 23 kV, you have to lock out the diesel generator or you have to lock out, you have to run the diesel generator and isolate the essential buses from everything else. 